<laughs> okay, we're going. Hey, hi. Another video today. How are you? You doing good? I hope. Pray. Okay, there's no hope, but we can pray and know. Have faith, right? Anyway, I've got this hat on today. That means we're going to be talking about recycling the living water. This says, and I know it's going to be backwards, right? You're in my story. You're in my story. <laughs> okay, so whenever from this point forward you see this video, if you're subscribing new to me, yeah, it means we're going to be talking about that. On my channel, I like to talk about things that have been... um basically misled things that we believe in that since birth that are misleading and you know lies flat out lies but they you know we really can't say a lot about lies because we're all born into it so nobody's intentionally lying to us saying you know yeah don't Oh, okay, we won't get into it, but because today I want to talk to you about <clears throat> uh, this band-aid on my nose and what I've been doing with it in the experiment to uh, learn whether hmm, I want to I word this really, really good, okay, or, or, or be mindful of my words. Okay, we're, we are looking an ongoing experiment to see what urine therapy, Amrita um, specifically, uh, can do for cancer. Because I have, under this band-aid is basal cell carcinoma. I have been to see a dermatologist that, you know, confirmed it visually. We, I did not allow her to do a biopsy because I would like to know if cancer is one of the things that urine therapy doesn't heal. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not even sure if we'll learn or not because the thing is, um, wow, especially with cancer, you guys, you got to do it all the time. I mean, like it's boom, boom, boom. Um, okay. Hey. I'm Carrie. If you're new, if you're just happening to, on the channel for the first time, for eyes to see my channel, I do. Uh, I like to look at a lot of things like that: <clears throat> urine therapy, flat Earth, Tartarian buildings, and more than that, Tartarian mindset, reset, <laughs> something like that. Set, yeah. Um, and another things too that, uh, you know, Morgellons is really one that got me started, you know, skin sores that don't go away, right? And right now we're dealing with this one and it is a sore that does not go away. It's not like a sore. It, you can tell it's cancer because it doesn't go away for one and how it, it behaves. You know, it grows out and thickness. You know, I don't want to say too much about this because it's improving. Okay, I went five complete days without looking at it. I changed the Band-Aid once a day and I did it away from the mirror. And I just could feel where it was put it on there and then check in the mirror to make sure I got it in the right spot. And I never did see it for five days. I did not look at it. Um, and then I looked at it once and that was two days ago. Okay, so it's been two days since I've seen it. Now you might think, do you need to change the band-aid more than once a day? Doesn't that, isn't that germy? Because I'm adding, I'll show you what I do. Let's see. This is a little plastic, I think it's a lid for the uh, dental floss. 
and it just snapped off and I've been using it as a little scoop. But I want to order for myself for Christmas. I'm getting some commun communion cups made of glass that should be, ah, they'll be perfect for this. Not so easy to dip it out, but I'm not sure about urine going in plastic at all, guys. So this is not necessarily the way to do it, okay? But for right now. And then I just um, fill it up. Let's see. And if some seeps down, I sniff it up and rub it in. Okay? And... Yeah, I'm trying to get that filled up. The Band-Aid. And it stays moist. And... Okay, now... I'm doing that with every, every one, every time I um, pass the living water, right? When you drink it, it's no longer urine. Urine therapists um, all over the world, some call it iron, right? We can rename it because it's different. I say that a lot in my videos <laughs> and because it's something we don't know. If you don't recycle it, you don't realize that you can make a different substance and that that substance can do everything. I do my laundry with it. My laundry is so much softer and cleaner than it's ever been. I feel like my clothes are coming out like brand new. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. That was a weird face, huh? Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so, okay. So where are we with this? Now, for those of you that are just happening in and curious about urine therapy, um, Rita is something I started about 150 days ago. Okay? And it is taking the urine, the orin, the recycled urine and drying it on a, a glass or pottery platter of some sort. Some way you can, some people do it in glasses and you get more of a, a syrupy kind of amrita, um, right? And I, uh, okay, what I do, I can show you, I'll save this one for tomorrow. But every morning with my morn, first morning chivambu, I add, I scrape and add about that much, okay? And I just uh, scoop it off there and I think my glass will be filled up about this much at that point in time. And, and, you know, swish it around for a few minutes uh, until it's dissolved. And then I swish with it and also use it in the Band-Aid and my eyes. I put it in my eyes, too. Mm-hmm. So we're, that Amrita I'm doing every day, every day, every day. And uh, throughout the day, I do Shivambu. Um, maybe a shot or swish with it or put it in my eyes and put more in the band-aid. Right. <laughs> okay. I know this sounds a little redundant. I'm looking back here to show you guys who's got my back. We got Lord Shiva and Parvati. Parvati. <laughs> okay. And this is a gift I got from Jesus in a, in a, I was just walking down, walking Alpha one day in the, um, along the field and out of nowhere, this appeared. I was thinking about Jesus and I was thinking what a great friend, what a cool companion. And I just found this. It's like made, it's probably going to be backwards, just like my hat it says, I think you are pretty wonderful. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of gifts I get from Jesus. And this is something I bought from India on eBay when I, I googled Jesus and Tree of Life 
Isn't that beautiful? It's kind of dusty. Sorry about that. That, to me, is the tree of life. And if you... Mm, I'm not crazy about the word if. When? We can use the word when. When you uh, make the choice to take the plunge and, and drink the, the golden nectar, then after six months you start to understand this story, guys. And uh, this story starts to come clear in about six months. The conversation with Lord Shiva. He tells you in that conversation that at six months you'll be proficient in scripture. What I believe, because we're so pollu we are so polluted, um, is that a good word? Polluted, programmed, um, deprived from truth. Yeah, that it takes six months to start to understand scripture, to start to understand the story that's in the Bible, the story that's in all the scriptures. You know, it starts to make sense at about six months. So proficient, I, I wish, I, no, no. It's, how do I know anyway? I'm just flapping. <laughs> uh, it's just what I, I've gathered through my experience of drinking my own living water for 5,400 plus a few days. 5,400 days I've got up every morning and I live. I live in a different way. I live in a way that's seeking a cleanliness that that is amazing, guys. When your cells, when you're clean with the, the water, the, when you drink the cup of the Lord, C-U-P, <laughs> I'm not a very good salesman. I have never, ever been a salesman. And I'm not trying to convince you to drink your pee. I'm not trying to convince you that the earth is flat. I am not trying to convince you that all these buildings that are all over our country, we call America, and they're actually everywhere, Australia, everywhere. These buildings were here for a long time, and people with a lot of money came along and made a whole lot of more money off of our buildings that are just here for all of us as a gift. But we didn't see it that way. They got greedy. And when that mud flood, I don't know, mud flood, I think psh, that's the flood that's in the Bible, isn't it? Big flood makes lots of mud. I don't know. I got off topic. I don't have my flat earth hat on. I don't have my Tartarian hat on. So watch for this one if you like your in therapy videos, guys. Thanks for all of your support. Mm, I'm just taking it in because mm, I'm going to work. I won't. No, no, I'm not going to talk about anything. I don't like carrot talkers. I don't like, um, I, my personally, I have challenges with editing my videos. And it's due to PTSD from YouTube or, or whoever um, messing with my videos. Okay, we won't say too much about it because I don't want to give anybody any narcissistic supply. Oh, well, we got her. Uh-oh, getting off base, right? Uh, I love talking to you so much because it's very therapeutic. You know, you should try it yourself. Grab your camera, grab your phone. You can just go live stream if you want on YouTube. I don't know if you can or not. I can, but then I've been on YouTube 14 years. I love, I love the way YouTube works. And I, I pray it's not going to change, which, let's just keep praying that, okay? Right? The, this is the Catholic faith that, wow, 
has kept his story alive. And I, I love all faiths. This is kind of my symbol that, you know, there's a lot of Catholics and I love you. <laughs> and there's a lot of Buddhists and Hindu and a lot of people with a lot of, and atheists and all kinds of faiths. I love all people. Who cares what I love, right? Okay, I'm just telling you where I'm coming from, right? I'm devoted. I'm devoted to the Lord. I have a story I could tell you about. Yeah, it'd probably be about time to tell it. I've only told it once or twice on YouTube in that 14 years. I'll tell it to you again, my story of how I heard about it. I'm having a little challenge right now because I had a counselor who saw that as delusional. For one, he doesn't believe in God, and for two, he didn't believe in dreams or think they were at all important. So he looked at me and probably, you know, I'm going to check her on that delusional one. <laughs> She's drinking her pee. <laughs> right? Yeah. When they say in the urine therapy books, you know, allopathy is not a good way to go, you know, regular doctors, that I believe is true. I have to test things for you guys. I'm not sure why. It's part of my own job. I work for God. I work for the Lord. I work all day long and I only do what he says to do. I don't hear voices though. It's not like that. Golly, I give you guys TMI, huh? It's this urine therapy hat. It's, it's making me feel like mm, I want you to know that we are all part of a really big story that we left ourselves clues for. We did in our past. The Tartarian stuff. If you, oh, guys are doing. Brilliant work all over the plane, guys. Just everywhere. People are working at us uncovering the evidence that we are severely enslaved. <laughs> Not just a little. Right? <clears throat> okay. That's one thing you're going to wake up to if you drink your pee. See you pee? I love you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to think. No, no, no. Wrong words. I, I, I do my best to stay a word for, with, you know, words that have been used normally in our language that actually program us to fail or be scared or think about disease and illness. <laughs> yeah. One, try is one of them, you know. We have the power to do anything we want. There is no try, right, Yoda? <laughs> thanks for listening and hanging. And thanks for doing all that you do in the world. I don't, no matter what you do, you know, you're doing it. We're doing it. It's team effort, you guys. It's a radical team effort. Even the guys living, people living in in um, tents, you know, they get these little batteries. They have internet. They watch what's going on. They just live in a tent. That's their home. They're not homeless. They're houseless. Do we all need houses? Oh, I'm getting off base. Yeah. Uh, that does have something to do with urine therapy, guys. The homeless um, crisis right now, I believe, is part of us saying, you know what, we don't, we don't need to pay with energy our entire lives for our place to be. Because you can't leave your place then because maybe people will come rob it while you're gone or who knows these days. Yeah, I think the houseless people are are rebelling. Oh my gosh. 
Drink your pee. That's, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, that was silly. That was really silly and I don't edit. So you're going to get to watch that. Okay. I'll try. Oh gosh. And then I say try. <laughs> okay. I'm going to push the button because I'm just out of hand. Thanks for your comments.